So today I am doing my everyday kind of makeup look that I have on right now. This is what I wear to work. This is what I would wear to school if I had school. I'm done school for the summer. <laughs> so this is my everyday look. If you guys want to know how I did it and some of the favorite products that I use regularly every day and that I'm going to repurchase for the rest of my life, keep on watching. So to start off, I always start by using my L'Oreal Revital Lift Primer. Um, I've also been using the Too Faced one got a little sample of and then I also have one from cover effects for acne prone skin but I've been using this one so I just take literally like a dime size amount because a little bit of this stuff goes a long way I focus on my cheeks forehead and then I just kind of blend it towards center of my face just like so and then I've been using the MAC Studio Fix um, Fluid Foundation. I'm, I'm in the color, this is NW25, but I should be NC25. The lady gave me the wrong foundation and I didn't realize until I put it on my face that it was clearly the wrong color. But now that I've gotten a little bit darker from the sun, it's, it's not as noticeable, so whatever. It's almost done anyway, so I use that. I use just one little squirt of it on my palm, back of my palm, and then I use my Sigma Round Kabuki F82 brush to kind of just buff it in. I do usually one side of my face at a time. This just gives it a very natural look. Looks very airbrushed. I love this foundation. I I was using um, the CoverGirl one that came out. I like that one too. But I can find the Mac Studio Fix is more longer lasting. Uh, and then what I do is I take my Max Mineralize Skin Finish and then. Just my big powder brush from Arbonne. I just take, pack it on, and just kind of dust it all over my face. Just so it kind of sets it. I really like to focus on my forehead, my under eyes, and my chin, because that's where it seems to go the most. For blush, I couldn't tell you what brand this is, but it's a like a light dusty rose color and I just take my other eyebrow brush precision brush and then I just put it on to my cheeks now on to my eyes my eyes I got this eyeliner in the ipsy glam bag called Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner. It's just a black felt pen. This is the best eyeliner ever. Everyone that comes over to my house uses it and it's like, where'd you get it? I never actually got the chance to look up the company and actually buy the eyeliner. But I was on Groupon one day and then I saw Jessie's Girl Eyeliner. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh! So I bought, I bought six that's all I was allowed to buy. Trust me, I would have bought more if I could. <laughs> they went really quickly because I checked a week later because you could also buy three as a gift. Gift. But yeah, I bought six, so it should last me like a year, i say. Because this lasted me about three or four months. So this should last me, yeah. Because I have my friends using this and stuff, so. Basically, what I do is this is, it's very stays on your face. Kind of almost like a tight line. I get very close to my lashes. I'm very thin. I don't like it very thick. And sometimes I'll wing it out, sometimes I won't. It just kind of depends on the mood that I'm in. To the other side. I 
can tell the pen's kind of running out. All right, and then what I do is I got, I was actually really excited about this. We got an Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner pencil in our Ipsy bag. So I was really excited about that because I love the Urban Decay eyeliners. They're so amazing, but they're expensive. You know, I never shop at Sephora. I'm a student. I shop at Walmart or I get free things in the mail. So what I do with this is I, um, not even sharpened. <laughs> I target line my eyes. You just sharpen the pencil. Sharpen it a little bit. So all I do is I just lift up my eye a bit and then put it right in the lash line. Because I have a monolid and just typical Asian eyes, this gives my eyes a bit more depth. So, I love that. And then I just take mascara. This is the CoverGirl Flamed Out. Um, I find, I bought a brand new one because I really liked it, but I find this one, it gets very clumpy. But, but this one, now that it's been used, it's, I think you have to, this one comes with too much mascara on the brush, so you need to kind of brush it off. But this one, because there's not much left gives you the perfect look. See, it's almost empty. But the other one comes out like a huge clump on a brush, so I just like to coat my lashes and make them all long. See how it kind of separates them and gives you more volume. Lumps just beautiful. And then just for lip balm, I use a Micabella Cosmetics, just a lip balm. It's just kind of a pink color. And I just put that on my lips just to soften them up a bit. It's like a natural lip color. And that is all for my face. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are some of my favorite products that I use every day on a regular basis. Sometimes my favorite lipstick, I will use the MAC uh, Speak Louder Cream Sheen Lipstick. It's just this nice pink color. So sometimes if I'm feeling like it's a nice day, I'll wear a brighter color. like that brighten up my face a bit so I hope you guys enjoyed this video Jessie's girl eyeliner my favorite eyeliner ever oh my God. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon just so you guys know I have my own website and I have my own email now it's info at hayleykiss.com so if you guys want to email me if you're a company looking to contact me I've actually listed it in my about on my page too so all the information will be down below. So, thanks for watching. Bye.